What is up, fellow YouTubers? It's your sexy goth bad boy, King Cobra JFS, back at you with another video. And I have gotten the ribs done. I pulled them out of the oven after an hour and then cut them into serving slices. Before cutting them into serving slices, I dumped some of the excess barbecue sauce off so they wouldn't get too messy. And the stuff that was baked on there stayed on there pretty nicely. They, yeah, they look pretty good, YouTube. So, got the King Cobra attempted to make barbecue ribs, and so far, no complaints. The barbecue mixture I made, sweet, savory, spicy, but not too spicy. It's got a nice, nice, uh, nice mild heat to it. You know what goes good with ranch? Ribs. Ribs and ranch, man. Huh. Alright. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of ranch out onto my plate to dip the ribs in. See how it do. Again, YouTube, I have never attempted to make ribs before. I mean, my dad would always make ribs and burgers and stuff like that during the summer. So, um, this is my attempt at some barbecue ribs. Let's see how I did. Let's get a bite without the ranch first. Hmm. Let's try that again. Hmm. Well, it's definitely a rib. Hmm. But is it good? Oh, for my first time making ribs, not too bad, YouTube. Actually, you know what? These are pretty good. That sauce combination, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's savory. Yo. But the heat on these ribs, it's not overdone. It's a nice mild heat, like I said, the butter and the brown sugar that I used in the sauce mixture. It dumbed down the heat just a little bit, you know, but. Oh, dude, you can taste the Jack Daniels in the ribs. <laughs> oh, dude. That Jack Daniels that I poured in the sauce for the ribs. 
you can taste it. Oh, that's that is just oh, not quite not quite fall off the bone, but you can at least tear it apart pretty easily. Mm. Not quite fall off the bone, but mm, you can tear it off pretty easily. Mm. Dunk it in ranch. We'll see how it do. Oh, piece of gristle. YouTube. YouTube. I am happy with the. I am extremely happy with the way these turned out. Dude, an hour was definitely long enough. They're cooked. Literally, 350 degrees, one hour. Oh my god, YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I might have had my issues this morning, but it all came together. It all came together so beautifully. I've always loved ribs. I've always loved ribs ever since I was a kid. I've always loved ribs. Pork ribs are the best, dude. Baby back, Louisiana style. Mm. Mm. Oh. You can taste the Jack Daniels in the sauce, but really it's not even getting you drunk. I don't feel a buzz off of it or anything, which is good, you know. You can taste the Jack Daniels, but you can't feel it, if that makes any sense. Ooh. Yeah, them devil spit barbecue sauce got a little tang on it, man. Got some heat on it. Mmm. Spicy, savory, sweet. Oh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's going to make for some tasty snacking later on. Mm. Go ahead and throw this plate away. <clears throat> But yes, sir, these, um, 
And I put these in the fridge for later. Snack on them as I get hungry throughout the day. Spicy, savory, sweet. And oh yes, my baking tray is an absolute freaking mess. So I want to take the tin foil off, throw it away. Get this pan ready to be washed. Now this is why I bake with the tin foil on there. Because this tin foil is going to minimize the mess that we made here. There we go. Now look at that. After taking the tin foil off, the pan's a little bit greasy from that butter that I put on the ribs earlier, but other than that, that's pretty clean. Dry my hands off real quick. Mm. Yeah, an hour was all I needed, man. Those turned out perfect. They weren't quite fall off the bone, but just enough you can just you know bite into it so granted yeah i spilt the barbecue sauce had to redo that part of the video eh. had an autistic blowout over it Trolls talking shit on my live video. Eh. Unfortunately, I only have enough money to cover my rent, so I'm gonna have to make money if I want money from my internet. And, uh,. Which really sucks because my friend's birthday is coming up and I wanted to get her something nice. I'll find a way to make some money before my friend's birthday so that way I can get her something nice. We'll figure it out, Tubes. We always do. Even when I'm down on my luck, I always find a way to get back up. So really no complaints here man, those um, those ribs turned out pretty good.
<sighs> Wash after handling the ding ding he he. People in the comment section tell me what I already know. Hmm. That piece of rib stuck in my teeth. Um, is my temper perfect? No. My temper is still pretty nasty. But it has gotten better. And was I a little upset that I spilt the barbecue sauce the first time? You bet I was. But, um... Well, I got over it because... You kind of have to, you know? No sense in spending all goddamn day being pissed about it. Just seems kind of pointless, to be honest. Yeah. Well, right now, part one is processing, so that'll take some time. Anyways, YouTube... Thank you for watching part two. Um, would I recommend that rib recipe? Absolutely. If you don't want it to be spicy, then, you know, get a different barbecue sauce. But, um, yeah, dude. Those ribs are pretty dank. So, thank you for watching, and if you like... The cooking, please subscribe for more.